Okay, so dear Dhamma practitioners, keep your back straight and relax your body and be comfortable with your posture. Make head straight in one line and gently close your eyes and focus your mind to this bell sound. And while you're focusing to the sound, mentally relax your body and relax your mind and relax your breathing. Just follow the sound, do nothing extra. Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa So your right palm on your left, bring your attention to your body and observe head to toes three times and say Suapatveva, oh, may I be well and happy three times. Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge. In this moment with this sitting, may my body become more comfortable. May my breath be more smooth. May no difficulties come to me. May all the success come to me. Also think for a moment. This is the last moment we're spending in this very lifetime. And detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment, observing the sensation of your inhalation, exhalation in front of your nose and your upper lip area. And also later, observe just the sensation and recognize how that sensation arising, existing and disappearing. Impermanent, unsatisfactory nature and selflessness within your inner experience. <clears throat> so mentally relax your body, following my words. Relax your head. Relax your forehead. Relax your eyebrows. Relax your eyes. Relax your ears. Relax your nose. Relax your upper lip. Relax your lower lip. Relax your chin. Relax your whole face muscles. Relax your teeth. Relax your tongue. Relax your mouth. Relax your throat. 
relax your neck relax your shoulders arms elbow forearms palms fingers fingertips Relax your whole back muscles and relax your spine. Relax your chest and relax your whole abdominal muscles. Relax your lungs, relax your heart, relax your liver, relax your kidneys, relax your gallbladder, relax your pancreas, relax your small intestine, relax your large intestine. Relax your abdominal organs. Relax your bottom. Relax your thigh. Relax your knee. Relax your calf muscles. Relax your foot and relax your toes. Relax your whole body muscles, tendons, ligaments, bone, bone marrows, and whole skeleton. Release the tension in your mind and keep relax your face muscles. Bring your attention to in front of your nose and your upper lip area. Deeply and gently breathing, breathe out three times and find the sensation in front of your nose. Just allow your inhalation, exhalation to happen itself. And when it happens, recognize this is inhalation, this is exhalation. Do nothing extra. Completely be relaxed and observe. Just see. See your own inhalation, exhalation. If your mind go here and there, bring it back again and again. Don't be too lethargic, too relaxed, too soft. And at the same time, don't be too hard. 
too tight. Just be with the moment of experience. Knowingly, this is inhalation, this is exhalation. Don't jump over the moment of experience. Don't be delay over the moment of experience. Just be with the moment of experience knowingly. This is inhalation, this is exhalation. Keep follow the entire continuation of the inhalation and exhalation. Knowingly, this is the inhalation, exhalation, and the beginning, the middle, end of the inhalation or exhalation. Also, you may experience some inhalation, exhalation become longer, shorter, heavy, soft, warm, cold. Just recognize it.
Your effort should be not towards the inhalation or exhalation, just to recognize the sensation. So sharpen your sense recognition. Allow inhalation, exhalation to happen naturally. Keep your attention only to the sensation. Don't categorize it. Just see how the sensation change. Experience the impermanent. And unsatisfactory nature. And selflessness. object and the subject, the observer also change moment by moment. This all byproduct of our own thoughts. There's nothing else. Recognition also just a thought.
Bring your attention to your body. Observe your posture. We cultivate loving kindness and compassion in our heart and radiate it as a light through entire your compound, village, city, state, country, world, around this universe. Also, as far as you can, through galaxies, other planets, or stars, reminding yourself like this, with clear intention, mentally, repeat after me, May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe and may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Being so are pale or strong, tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible. near or far away. Already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart forward. Visualize yourself and send it as a light and expand the capacity. To your backside. To your left side.
to your right side. Downward, and upward. to all six directions at once, like the moon, the sun, spread the light, spread the energy, without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance, or without any judgment. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself, may all living beings in this universe be well and happy. Say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Dear Dhamma practitioners, we are in a journey. We all are in a journey to uh, the same direction through this timeline. So then we everybody need to, to tune to kind of like a same speed, same energy to develop a community of Sangha through understanding, not just by physically, through by understanding when you tune to the same kind of rhythm, it is start to develop deeper connection within yourself. You need that. It's kind of like a developing a web, internet, network. So now we have no choice. We came to a point to develop that. It used to be in the ancient time, before we have this old gadgetics, machines and technology. We had that, but on the way, we lose that connection. So it is a moment, it is an opportunity for all of us to tune again with the, our mental capacity and becoming more, more, more better person within your mental connection. Because it is a greater challenge for us today with this environment and the, with the society and the, the the, the culture we grow not allow us to grow inside. 
it allows us to go through but not without without growing so if you go through the time or the culture tradition nations generations even through eons without growing it is useless so then you have to ask a question yourself through the the journey that you go are you growing or are you just go through so when it come to the growing and how you can develop that rather than when you go through just go through something so when you go through this material physical conventional life what is happening you start to build up connections that connections means more physically and materially conventionally you losing the mental connection and at the same time you become more comfortable with the the material and physical connections so because of that what happening you sleep, deeply start to lose the deeper awareness it is a greater risk for this entire human civilization because day by day day by day we losing our awareness when the awareness losing you know what is happening the greed hatred and the delusion out of the greed and hatred the delusion is the ignorance is the the most dangerous thing so then remember yourself it is kind of like your shadow it is behind you maybe it is maybe maybe not even you so there are family members that's one family member is enough or oh, maybe in a city one person enough in a country one person enough that ignorant person can destroy whole the country it's like it doesn't matter how the how good the seed maybe you are so good but the, if the soil is not good remember you cannot grow so then when it come to a family sometimes the one person ignorance can destroy entire family not even the just the family the entire family history can destroy by one person don't be that person yourself don't be that person even don't facilitate to anyone to be like that don't be a part of it it is your responsibility because you nourish from this entire human civilization you nourish through this entire na nature you just not nourish through just only from your family so you belong to the entire universe so then be a person like that so practicing vipassana is you take you to that level you push you to that level you need that if you want to grow you have to have a purpose don't be a person just trying to find a bath in a bucket you know don't just be a person to find a, the bath in a bowl we kind of like that people we have very very tiny mindset even though physically we are so comfortable so good healthy we talk about the health but deeper inside us we are very tiny lilliput lilliput people we think ourselves why because we lose the courage that's what we see all around us even just to sit for a moment and to bring the awareness sometimes you don't have the courage and even see the truth within yourself we do we don't have the courage so the courage is mean not a very you know kind of like a big word it is strengthening your heart that's it strengthening your blood strengthening your own heart is the meaning of courage then you have to look who can get into the heart no one that others can destroy the heart but no one can get into the heart only one thing that is dharma that dharma other everybody can break the heart but the dharma is the method to fix any broken heart so then keep that close to you why in this journey as i mentioned that we more connected to this material things that way what we does 
we build up walls around your house. So when it comes to the house, you build up walls. When you have walls, what you need next? You need the door and windows. Once you have the doors and the windows, what you need next? Next, you need the lock. Once you have the lock, what you need? You have to have the key. Once you have the key, what is the you need next? Key tag. It is just not the one key. You need the key tag, hold it to something. Then once you have the key tag, what will happen? It should be very close to you. You have to protect it. So the Vipassana is a method. You destroy the walls that you build with this material world, with the sensual places. That is the Vipassana. Because once you break the walls, you no need any windows. You no need any locks. You no need any keys to, and you no need any key lock or key panel to hold it. You no need to always clinging to something. You no need anything to protect something. It is not with the convention. Deeper inside you, you become a person without walls, without windows, or the, the doors, or without locks, or the without keys yourself. That is where you gain the freedom. So the Vipassana take you to that level. So then that we all have the same kind of tool. That is the time. When you go through time, then you have to remember. Are you growing? Are you developing? Are you becoming better? Are you becoming more, more, more? A matured person within yourself. It is not for anybody. Remember that. This is nothing to do, the, nothing to do with the Buddha. He, born, he came to this world he and preached the Dhamma. He complete his mission. Done. Then it doesn't matter what you do to the Buddha or not. It doesn't matter to him. All other enlightened masters, all your ancestors, all your parents, and they have done it. And they gave the, the, the birth and they, they protect you in the, in the beginning very five years. Done. If you survived in the very past five years, remember, you, you, you can go through this life. After five, that's why we, the, when you become five years old, that's why they take you to school. Now start your journey. Then you still, sometimes, even you become adult, you know, even you become an elder, you are always looking for, you know, babysitting. That babysitting may be not physically, mentally. We mentally, we hold it to things, ideas, pleasure, sensation. So you, that means you are not growing. You are still a baby. So then remember yourself. Get out of that. Change it. Be, be, be deeply getting to the bottom. It's okay. You, you, you can do this. That is the first thing. That is where the courage comes. You can do this. What is that? Recognizing the truth. Becoming a better person yourself and purifying yourself and getting to a higher place yourself. And always you, you, you become a person to go to the higher road, not the lower, not the lower. So that should be, because that is where the Vipassana, Vipassana means it is very, it is, it is not difficult. The, you know, the difficult, easy come out of the, the attitude, remember that. It's nothing to, it cannot say it is difficult. It is only thing is, do you need that? At least, you, do you need the tranquility, tranquility level of your mind? Peace, harmony within yourself, recognition. Do you need that? And sometimes, you know, when people have the temptation, the strong desire, they don't want to see the details. And sometimes if another person try to explain something, they say, no, 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 don't tell it to me. Be myself, be, let me myself to be ignorance. See, that's how we are. We don't, we don't, 
we don't open to the truth so then yourself remember through this timeline when you go start to be a person to 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 develop maturity within yourself become matured within self and develop your strength within yourself have the courage to go through the the the, the situations be a person you, yourself and it's kind of like the the eagle you know that eagle the mother protect and giving the heat to the eggs and protect it and during that time in the higher mountain areas you know and it giving the the heat to the 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 eggs is very difficult sometimes even one minute if she go away then she need to start to put all her effort to 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 heat that eggs because sometimes very cold environment but still she able to to give the heat and after she giving heat and during that time and when the and the babies come during that time she become so wild and if any other animals come around that and she ready to give up her life and protect that children that much naturally there is a bond with the the mother and that little babies but you know when the babies get the stronger feather little by little little by little you know what happening the mother is start to kick them out and kick them out from that you know the huge mountain this little babies you know the birds you know the seagulls they cannot even find a way but still they start they see them the behavior of the mother why they why she push them out of the the mount because otherwise they never going to gain their own life their own freedom their own recognition but we are kind of like a people like that even though eagle have that wisdom we don't have it why because sensually we are more bound with the desires we are more bound to the world and because of that little 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 things we build up walls we and we build up windows and the doors and the lock it and we build up our own prison inside our mind we lose our own inner freedom so the practicing meditation is a kind of way you giving you giving kind of like a effort you have the effort and you giving try yourself slowly little by little you getting to your authentic nature otherwise there is nothing else remember that you completely become pure organic natural being that is where why because we became more more and more and more and unnatural on the way with our behavior need nothing wrong with anybody our ancestors our parents and done their best now maybe even ourselves thinking oh this is good for us this is good for us time to time we did our best but now we understand it so then look yourself what you want in life and where are you going and what you keep doing you have to question it and once you question you will understand we all have this the same kind of timeline we are we all in the same timeline and we have the same kind of energy there is nothing different than the, the the buddha's time to us and the, whatever the had the buddha and you also have that that's why you can you can understand what he taught that's why the buddha knew you have the same strength and capacity that's why he taught the dharma otherwise he not going to to teach that so then you have to understand forget about buddha sometimes you know even that looking at another person and can you can you recognize what is the the nature what is the behavior what is the life and how to do things then you 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 will see nowadays it is close you know if you go to a gym and see you know it has instruct in, in that uh, 
all the instructions and everything and sometimes uh, other people uh, do things but still there are people every day come to the gym and they do very weird things when you get into the machine you know they they don't understand there are introductions that they, everything is there you know and step by step and even there are some other people doing it if he just or uh, oh, she get a five minute and observe you know understand it but they don't they don't have that kind of thing they just go with the the mind whatever they have so our life also kind of like a gymnasium you know in day to day life your house your head is kind of like a gymnasium and you go and you work out with your thoughts you don't see it. but you, there are some people they have the same mind same thought same time and they work out in a different way and they become kind of like a mr olympia and even you you you, you cannot wear you know okay, get out of your own bed or the chair without uh, you know help that's how we are so then remember yourself we missing we missing something that is not a magic it is the the strengthening yourself so start to strengthen yourself and start to manifest yourself with the higher purpose to go towards the clarity within your own thoughts the, the thoughts are that is the most powerful it is like a tree remember that look this chair table bed spoons you know this anything didn't come out of the sky this all came out of the tree so the same tree has power to give manifest things so when you think about it and you can transform that tree to a chair table bed so like that but at the same time you have to remember that you have you can transfer it to cross and it going to take you know even from your own shoulder you can carry it and you know you you can you know end your life there or oh, it can be your coffin you no know? that also come from the tree so then you have to remember what you try to to get out of your thoughts are you getting are you building your own cross or the coffin or the the chair table bed or other things that which you and others can find the comfort look into it so then in day to day life remember this few information remember every day and keep it with you and remind it and also give your best to practice so the very first thing don't be so busy find some resting time period even just start with the 5 minute the mostly in, at home so if you look very carefully that resting mean you change the work so if you work at office and now you have a holiday you resting means you start to watch tv or watching a movie or listening to music or doing some work cooking or uh, trying new kind of food so that is your rest so get into the complete rest mean get out of all the bodily action get out of the all the bodily action how you can do that that's why you have to have a intention you have to have the courage to do that just five minute why because you are so busy you know what happening busyness busyness destroy your strength your creativity your awareness your understanding it destroy creating the the airplane this huge you know ships 
and uh, all the, the huge mass, you know, that this bit that the rocket science and um, this all the mega buildings and the productions, this everything came out of the very restful human mind. Remember that. Nothing came to this world. Nothing introduced something new by busy mind. Forget about enlightenment. We didn't talk about that. Even I'm just telling in the conventional success. So then yourself find little bit rest full time for you. It's complete rest. That doesn't mean you're doing something. If you look very carefully, when you have rest time, that is the most busiest time that you act emotionally, since with the indulging sensual pleasures, and you boiling out, sweating, a resting time. See, that is where we are still here, like this. That is why we cannot find change. Why? Because we cannot tune to that higher vibration or the higher awareness, your mind, your brain, your heart, your blood stuck with the walls and the, the windows and the doors and the locks and the keys. It is stuck there. You cannot get out. You kind of like a turtle. You know, the turtle is the very, oh, one of the very old creatures, animal. And at the and in the beginning of the world, it says the before the dinosaurs, there were dragons. And the turtles was in the ground, and the dragons used to fly. And the turtle had the dream to become a dragon. But at the same time, you know what's happening? When a little situation comes, turtle becomes so comfortable with under the shell. And that's why turtle still become like that. So we are also kind of like that. When something happens, you become so, you know, into like this. You, you, you get into like this. You're not open when a situation comes. So the courage bringing that openness. So then the, the start to develop the the restful time period yourself every day. Five minutes enough. Then so what you do at the resting time? Don't do anything. Just even if you can do it uh, opening your eyes, there are some practice they does with the opening eyes. And simply, if you can just keep close your eyes and then simply don't do anything. Just even don't try to Inhale or exhale. Shut down. Get out of that also. Let it happen. Just keep observing. Observing whatever happened. That's it. That observation is not an action and it's a kind of like a you go with it. It is not you have desire to observe. Observe. No. You just stay and if the sound come you recognize. Smell come you recognize. You don't go with it. If you go with it, it's a it's an action. But you just observe it. If there is a feeling come, you just recognize because the recognition is the very nature of the mind. That's why. Without recognition, there is no mind. So now you recognize me, you just in the mind. So when you become busy, what is happening? You have no recognition. So the recognition means you allow mind to be there. When there is no recognition, that means you are out of the mind. So then, when the sound comes, you recognize. That doesn't mean you go with the sound. The smell comes, you recognize. Sensation arises, you recognize. Any thought arises, you recognize. You don't go with the thought. You mul don't multiply the thought. You just recognize. So whatever available, you recognize. That is the, the pure clear resting time. So just do it. It's nothing to do with meditation. You're resting. That's it. If you do it, 
eight minute resting give to your body kind of like a eight hour sleeping rest. Eight minute, if you can do it, eight minute rest like that way, it giving you eight hour sleeping rest. So normally, averagely for a person, that is what called sleep eight hours to, to have, you know, balance healthy life. See? Why? Because we are not, we are not that the resting in day-to-day -day life, even in the sleep also sometimes we, we know. So that is why we, we lose our creativity or even the recognition. So at least try. It's nothing to do with meditation. It is in day-to-day -day life, that resting time. And then, and even don't answer, answer call. Keep it away. Five minutes, try five minutes, you know, one week enough for you to try it and see what will happen to you. It will going to take you to something, some, it going to bring you some wisdom, knowledge. That is what you need, not listening and understanding or watching documentaries or the movies or we seeing. No, no, that the pure experience, wisdom, that is what you need. So try it. And get out of the busy life at least five minutes. So completely be in the kind of like a restful mode. If there is an emergency, something necessary, then you do. Other than that, you don't do that. So then in day-to-day -day life, minimize that or oh, most of the activities because most of activities we perform out of you know 100 the mostly 80% unnecessary activities only 20% productive activities we bring back to our life and only 20% profitable for us other all 80% mostly most of bring in profitable feedback and some neutral disappearing eating time that's it so then develop increase the, the profitable side of actions and minimize the 80% and increase the, the 20%, that area. So then little by little, little by little, and you will find out, even for a day, you can have a very comfortable day and without doing a lot of things and without interfering to a lot of things. And then you have, you have a lot of time. So that is the first thing. Get out of the busyness. Conventional success and even it, it deeply benefit for your spiritual development or the spiritual success. Remember that. The second one, don't talk too much. Remember that. Don't talk too much. So, and you know, what I experienced through, through this journey as a monk. So, I just only talk while I'm teaching. That's it. I don't talk in day-to-day -day life. I don't talk to anybody. Mostly, I'm staying silent. That's why I can talk like this. So, otherwise, if you always blah, 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 you know, like a machine, like a parrot, always talking, 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 talking. It destroys your awareness. It destroys. And if you make a lot of mistakes, especially with the words, you know, a lot of people get hurt. And, uh, and unknowingly, the greed, hatred, and the delusion increase. So you can, you can see through our talks that whatever we delivered, we never allow anyone to increase their greed, hatred, or the delusion through any single word. So how? Because that we keep that clarity because we don't talk too much. And you see only this, you know, the 15 minute, 30 minute, 30 minute like that. Other than that, I don't talk even when somebody call, you know, just the, the, the whatever, yes, no, that's it, done. And sometimes uh, people ask, don't you get depressed? 
when I go to school, you know, to teach sometimes, and children ask, don't you get depressed? So then I ask them, do you think that the, the, the si becoming silent, so when people talk too much, the, the person who talk too much also get depressed and the listener also get depressed. So it, it, it multiply. So that, that is where our life is. So then yourself remember, don't talk too much. Even keep it, it is for you. It is nothing to do with that. It is for you. It is for your personal development and the growth. Rather than in go through life, it help you to grow. You will see. So then when something necessary, you talk even for your children, don't talk too much. And then uh, when the time come, you will never going to find them. They're going to go with friends. You cannot catch them anymore. Why? Because they're waiting, 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 waiting. And sometimes children say, our parents talk too much. My mother talk too much. My father talk too much. Sometimes they say. So then remember yourself. If you as a husband, wife, if there's something you have to talk, you just talk and give some peace for other person. Keep the space a little bit. Be silent and sometimes becoming silence. Even the Buddha himself, when people came with the, the very, you know, the ancient that questions, very difficult, all over the world is still sometimes that question. When they come to arguments with the, the huge kind of like a, the people, bunch of people, but it's still Buddha was silence. And he didn't go to arguments or, you know, try to explain it. But there was silence. So sometimes your husband or wife come with the, you know, the big words and the, the to, to big arguments. Just be silent. It is a skill. Not going to destroy anything. But if you talk, sometimes going to destroy it. Just becoming silence. It's a skill that you develop for you. Not for anybody. And then it will give the peace and tranquility state for other people also. And you become more productive person and it will help you to grow. That is the important thing. Not just by physically, mentally you grow. So then remember, find your silence deeply. Another thing is don't talk to yourself in your head. Always mind is like a roller coaster. Mind is our own mind is like a parrot, you know, talking to our, ourselves for operation and always blah 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 in our head. And then little by little, little by little, once you get out of this uh, outside and once you shut down your mouth, you know what is happening? You start to recognize you think too much. Why you cannot recognize it now? Because when you talk too much, you can't see how you think. So that's why. When you shut down your words, naturally you start to recognize your mind and then you yourself, no one need to tell you, you, you think too much. We everybody heard in our life, somebody told us, you think too much. So because we didn't know it mostly byproduct of this all our bodily verbal action. So when you slowly shut down little by little, so that's why. Don't talk too much. Try it. It's for you. At least one minute, complete silence. You you don't even you don't talk to yourself. Complete silence. Nothing to do anything, nothing to do with meditation. You know, you can just be a silence person. Just completely go back to your own nature and stay. Don't react to anything. Don't think about anything. One minute try. That is called courage. See, do you have it? Just to be silence 
and another one is the third one pratya ava lokane pratya ava lo pratya means your bodily verbally mentally actions pratya ava lokane means ava lokane means you look back yourself you look back yourself what you have done so end of the day or whenever you have time as a habit at least not one week one month one year no at least look yourself your own yesterday and see what you have done it will show you something get that lesson that will help you to to move forward and it will help you to to grow yourself so remember these three things find the rest that's mean get out of the busyness and the second one complete silence and the third one pratyavalokana you start to re reverse the 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 day rewind your day and look what you have done you no need to do anything don't think i have done this good i have done that this bad no 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 don't go to judge your action don't do that just look that's it not don't try to investigate or analyze don't do that just look looking is the the key that's why that is the because if you bring the analytical preconditioned mind what is good or what is bad what you know today is not going to to be good or bad tomorrow that's why don't go go into that analytical thing just learn to see and then you will see it going to take you to something it you have to experience it by yourself so then with that i bless upon everyone by the practice of this all this good practice may all of you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patience courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life during this time period may everyone stay healthy and safe and finally may all of you attain supreme bliss of nibbana sabbhityo vajjantu sabbarogo vinasatu mate bhavatantarayo sukhi digayuko bhava ittavata cha me sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva numodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya sabbe bhuta numodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya sabbe satta numodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya idam me punya kammanga savakaya vanho tu sabba dukkha pamun chatu bless you